Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, we mentioned... Uh, <coughs> I'm going to pronounce the name wrong again, aren't I? Aren't I? Rashida Tlaib. Oh, fuck it, whatever her name is. And Ilan Omar before. Um, today, Israel barred them from entering uh, the country. Uh, they were supposed to arrive there this weekend for a several-day tour and had planned visits to Jerusalem and to the West Bank cities of Bethlehem, Hebron and Ramallah. I've been to Bethlehem. Um, there was a shop that sold hamburgers. I didn't either. A lot of US politicians go to Israel. However, they've been banned because, let's face it, they've never been particularly good about it. And some people are saying it, it's wrong. You know, there's a, a bit of backlash from Democrats and Jewish groups. Um, you know, they should be allowed to go. Uh, but Trump did say Israel would be weak if they allowed them in. And um, Benjamin Netanyahu said uh, Israel decided to block the Congresswomen because of their support for a movement to boycott Israel. Um, which gained support in the US and Europe and led to Israeli legislation allowing its advocates to be banned, which of course is the BDS movement, who are, you know, just, just totally into human rights. That's all they care about. So it turns out they, one of them pretty much organised um, the trip. Um, but one of the things that might have put the uh, the Israelis off as well is when, when talking about planning their trip to Israel, uh, it's called US Congressional Delegation to Palestine. Uh, is what they've put there. You can have a look right there. U.S. Congressional Delegation to Palestine, August 18th, 22nd, tentative agenda. And Rahim Kassam very kindly pointed out they went to tour a youth centre and meet with young people in, from Jerusalem and Gaza via video conference to discuss uh, employment-related challenges. Apparently, the congresspersons to understand the economic environment and how U.S. assistance may be targeted to facilitate youth employment in the future. But you can understand it being a bit annoying for the Israelis to have to bring these people in, offer the security, give them the, the luxury accommodation, only to be told, we don't recognize your country. We're calling it Palestine. Um, so, yeah, they've been blocked. They're out. There you go. Um, BDS is an odd one for me, um, especially when they lost all those Palestinians the jobs at Soda Street. That um, that was very good of them, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, they want to help the Palestinian people, so they help them right out of a fucking job and back into poverty. But then again, I suppose Palestinians wallowing in poverty is better for them. It gives them more ammo. Hamas feel roughly the same way about people, to be honest. Um, they like their Palestinians to be poor or dead. That's how that's how they like them. Um, but I don't know. I don't think they can go to the Palestinian territories, can they, without Israel's permission? Maybe they can come in through Egypt into Gaza. Oh no, my mistake. They don't want to go to Gaza. Uh, they want to use Skype, talk to people in Gaza. Uh, 